Kiki, Baba, Sakura, Soya. Raman Shoko Yele Besi Ya Raman Soya Wo Raba Sike Ya Laman Soya Raba Soya God we just speak rapid release and acceleration over CC even now in the name of Jesus we thank you that everything she needs she has everything they need for their household her and her husband we thank you that they're on one accord even now in the name of Jesus Raba Soko Yele Besi Wo Raman Soko Ya Laba I hear the Lord saying, For this is the hour that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. So we just thank God for a prophetic wind. Hitting our lives even now, a fresh wind of the prophetic. Wo Raman Sheke Alabaso Ya Rabaso Raman So God help us to ooh, prophesy with details and accuracy. Rebeshe Raman So Ya Raman So Ya God, those that you can trust with your secrets, we ask that the secrets of heaven be released to them even now in the name of Jesus. Rabaso. Raman Soya, a fresh wind of the prophetic. Some of you are going to Raba Soya, Raman Soya. You're going to start dreaming more. Wo Raman Soya. Some of you, your dreams are going to another level. Your, uh, what do you call it? Your visions are going to another level. Wo Raman Soya. Lord, we thank you for an increase even in our hearing. Hearing your voice and not doubting. Wo Raman Seke Alabasu Yakabashi. God, we give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. God, we knew you were going to do it. We thank you in advance. Haya Shakataman So Yarabasu. I don't care what it looks like. You remember what God said. Lord, we thank you in advance. Rabasu Ko Yelebeshea. Lord, we thank you in advance. We knew you were going to do it. Everything we called out tonight, we thank you in advance because we knew you were going to do it. We come against the spirit of anxiety. We come against the spirit of worry. We come against the spirit of doubt. We come against the spirit of fear. May the blood of Jesus be upon it even now. God, we knew you were going to do it. You never fail us. You never let us down. You're a good father. Mm. 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 You're a good father. You're a good father. You're a good father. Rebe Sheke Alaman Soya. If it's your will, it's your bill. Rebe Sheke Alaman Soya. Rabbi say, I, um, I had to speak somewhere Saturday. And one thing Holy Spirit told me to do was to have the women write down no think about what it is god has called them to do and then write down what was hindering them from doing it so they wrote it down gave it to me i called it out a lot of people put fear um finances not having support from family not having support for from the church but it was a lot of stuff but what holy spirit told me to do after that was to give the papers back to them and have them rip it up and put it how rabba soya and they threw it in the trash can i went around with a trash can and collected it and i told them the holy spirit said he's eliminating all of their excuses in 2019 and i'm telling you now he's eliminating all of your excuses whatever he has called you to do you need to obey god if you just make one step he'll do something whatever you need for the next step i promise you he will come all the way through if you just obey him but this is not the year for you to be giving him excuses god is not playing he's not playing with us obedience exactly he is not playing he's eliminating all the excuses everything you need to accomplish whatever it is that he has for you to do it's already in your hands well renisha i don't see anything there well that's great because he created a whole world just from speaking out of his mouth so maybe you just need to open up your mouth speak whatever it is that you need and then look for it 
wait for it. Rabba Soya. But he's eliminating all of the excuses. So you all might as well let it go and obey God. Obey God. Rebe Shea Raman Soya. You know how, and I told them this Saturday too, you know how when you're applying for different jobs, you go and read the job description. Every single one of you on here for 2019, this is your job description. Obey God. That's your job description. Obey God. Type that in the comments. Obey God. That's it. It's just that simple. Oh, Rabba Suke Yalaman Soya. Rabba Shete Yalaba Soya Raman So. Rabba Shete Yalaman Soya. That's it. Just obey Him. Obey Him. Because this is the thing. When you do what the Lord tells you to do, and you feel like you're just out there and you don't know what's going to happen, that's on Him. So, God, you're going to make me look crazy. Your word says, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor the seed begging bread. You know people looking at me. You know people waiting for me to fail. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Obey him. Like Apostle Stephen says, obey me, Zion. Obey him, Zion. Y'all better obey God. No excuse. <coughs> no excuse. I'm telling you, I'm writing a book on my testimony. And I can't share it all because I want y'all to buy the book. But I shared it with them Saturday. What happens when you disobey? God will strip you. And y'all don't want him to strip you. Because, see, he doesn't care anything about your feelings. He don't care anything about your emotions. He doesn't care about your comfort level. No. Mm -mm. He doesn't care about you. You need to obey God. Well, Lord, I don't know how this person, I was raised in this church, and I want to leave this church. I'm not being fed here. And they real dead. But my grandma, my mama, my grandma, my great grandma, it's our family church. And their feelings going to be hurt. Who cares? Obey him. Listen, but God, obey him. If he's telling you to move, if he's telling you to write a book, if he's telling you to start a business, do the business plan, whatever, obey him. And some of y'all are way too concerned about other people's feelings and other people's opinions anyway. Who wakes you up every morning? Obey that one. The one that wakes you up in every morning. Whose breath are you breathing? Oh, okay, obey him. I'm just saying you worried about a people that can't put you they don't have a heaven or a hell to put you in but you're just so concerned yes ma'am you all are just so concerned yes ma'am q you're so concerned about other people's opinions baby let me tell you something when it comes to what god has called you to do you don't even have an opinion when it comes to your purpose your divine destiny what heaven has written in in the books for you you don't even have an opinion so why you do, why do you care about all these other people's opinions mm -mm. so god i just agree with heaven even now regarding whatever it is you have called these people to do whether they're listening live catching the replay thank you for the hearts you all i agree with heaven even now I agree with heaven even now in the name of Jesus. Whatever it is you are calling them to do, God, I pray that they find no rest until they give you a yes. May they find no rest until they give you a yes. Exactly, Q. May they find no rest. I pray that the burden of the Lord regarding your assignment, it rests on with you from this day forward. Obey God. Yes, Jesus. And some of you, your stuff is held up because you won't say yes. I posted on Facebook this morning. Stuff, your stuff is just held up because you won't tell God yes. Hmm. All right, Holy Spirit. Obey him. That's all I'm hearing. Obey him. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Obey him. 
old basement, old basement. Just to give y'all a part of my testimony so you will know it's not a game. The Lord told me to do something in 2017. He told me to. He told me to do something in 2017 um, regarding relocation. Obedience is the key, and that's so funny you would say that because the Lord had me to bring them keys when I had to speak this Saturday. He told me to get them keys as a prophetic act. That's a whole nother. That's a. Whew. We were in Matthew 16. Lord Jesus, we were in Matthew 16 where Jesus asked his disciples, Who do men say that I am? <laughs> then he turned around and said, But who do you say that I am? Peter said, You're the. Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And he said, Yeah, that's good, Peter. That's it. You got it. Flesh and, blood, flesh and blood didn't reveal that to you, but my Father which is in heaven. And then he told them, upon this rock, I'm going to build my church. Upon this revelation of who I am, I'm going to build my church, Peter. And then I'm going to give you the keys. I have keys all around my hotel room right now. I put them out this morning. Just put. I'm going to give you the keys. And whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. And I was telling them, maybe the reason why there are so many in the church binding and loosing stuff, but nothing is changing, is because they don't have the keys. The keys come when you have a revelation of who Jesus Christ is. Much of the church does not know Jesus. Much of the church, and I don't even want to get into all of that. Much of the church, don't, don't they go to church every Sunday and they don't know them during the week but they don't know him because if you really knew him let me tell you what the Lord told me <laughs> and I ain't even mean to go through all this Saturday morning when I was on going to speak he told me um, he started talking to me about the church again and you know how we say we have church if they really knew him we go in here right people come to church depressed they leave depressed they come bound they leave bound they come suicidal they leave do suicidal they come tormented, they leave tormented. They come sick, they leave sick. We have all these sick and shut-in lists for what? Okay, but we had church though because we ran and shouted, but no deliverance is taking place. The Lord said that much of the, what we call church is just orgies and crack parties. We come to church, we get our fix, right? Shoot up, that dance, shout, whatever. We see who we can sleep with and then we go home. It's a mess. We have preachers preaching in the pulpit every Sunday that don't even believe the God they're preaching about. They're preaching out a Bible that they think is a fairy tale. If we believe God like that and if we were having that kind of church, why are all these people sick? Why are we on four and five medications a day thinking it's normal? You shouldn't be on one medication. You shouldn't have high blood pressure. My high blood pressure, my diabetes. What? Thinking that, oh, well, we, we all got to die from something. That's not Bible. I'm sorry. They don't know Jesus, and that's why they're binding and loosening. They're trying to bind and loose stuff, and nothing has happened because they don't have keys. They have titles, but they don't have keys. They have robes and vestments, but they don't have keys. They have money and the, all these uh, positions in the church, but they don't have keys. And the one with the keys are the ones that's being ignored. I was supposed to do some kind of post. Holy Spirit will have to bring it back to me. Holy Spirit, please bring it back to me. I have to make a foot face of uh, a uh, post on Facebook about something. But um, the one that has the keys, they most of them sitting in the pews being ignored. But they have the real power. They have the keys. Okay, Pharisees and Sadducees, you know the you know the word. <laughs> you know the word. You're a scholar, but you don't have a relationship with God. Yeah, but I didn't mean to go into all of this. Girl, Tierra, a lot of that stuff is what the Lord had me speaking about Saturday. The church is in a, it's in a, it's a terrible state. You all saw where I put a couple of months ago on Facebook that, um, the Holy Spirit said that much of the church smells like cancer in his nostrils. Amen. Who was that favorite by God? Amen. It's, it's sad. It's so sad. 
but we have in church. That's what we see. Not nary devil, not so not nary demon, not nary demon is being cast out, but we have in church. Why do we have this sick and shut in list? Why aren't we having sick lines and healing people? Oh, but we're having church. Why do we have people on walkers and on canes? Hey, Tori. Oh, but we're having church. I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, were they 95? So? They saved, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just have that type of faith. Why aren't we raising the dead? Why is why are all these people dying prematurely? And we're trying to comfort the family and the friends talking about this was the will of God. No, it wasn't. They died prematurely. It was demonic and we're supposed to be raising the dead. But people don't believe that. They read the Bible. They shout on it. And by the time they leave church and go have Sunday dinner, they're defeated and depressed again. I'm so over it. Y'all see I'm going in, right? Did somebody say something about... um? I didn't even see what Tori said all the way, but we thank God for manifesting um, your healing, Tori. But yeah, I'm I'm so over it. Cause this we 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 not having church, y'all. I don't know what we having. Crack parties, like the Lord said, I guess. Crack parties and orgies. That's what he said. And we were really having church. How are we having church when you won't even let the Lord do what He wants to do? Holy Spirit wants to do X, Y, and Z, but because you have a program. You won't even let him come in here and move, and it's supposed to be his house. Mm. The message of the cross. Listen, but we don't know who Jesus is. Not not us, but you know, many of them they don't know Jesus, and that's why the prostitutes, the crackheads, all of them. That's why they are going to be the ones that lead this next move. I don't even want to go there. They're going to be the ones that lead this next move. The ones that you think are unworthy. That's it. Oh, it's going to be all in the streets. Because see those crack, the, the, the crackheads and the drunks, the gang members, um, the drug dealers, the prostitutes. See, they're not, they're not afraid. <laughs> they're not going to be afraid to confront these demons. They've seen too much. They've been through too much. they survived the streets. Come on. This revival that's happening, that's come, this outpouring, this glory. Right, right. Tisha, when I tell you I'm over it, I'm so over it. That's why I don't understand how some people can go to church. I mean, some people stay in church every other day, but nothing is happening. What you doing? What are you doing there? Won't be afraid. And they're going to say what thus says the Lord. And it needs to be said. Because I'm at a point now, Lord, if you don't want me to say it, you better not tell it to me. Because I'm going to say it, and I don't care who doesn't like it. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to be held responsible for what the Lord, if, if he gives me something to say and I don't do it, I'm going to be held responsible. And I'm not going to hell for me. So I know I'm not going for any of you or anybody else. Amen. A religious spirit. That's what it is. Pharisees and Sadducees. Whew. But we bless God. But yeah, obey God. Like I was saying. The Lord told me to relocate. 2017 gave me a time frame. I kept saying, Lord, this is a good paying job. I don't want to leave this good paying job. Oh, okay. He kept telling me from June to December. Guess what happened? I lost that good paying job. The whole company lost their contract. I was talking to one of my, my cousins. He's a pastor. Well, one of my cousins is a pastor. She said, Renisha, so you mean to tell me all those people lost their jobs because you disobeyed God? And that's exactly what happened. I have not worked in 13 months. Oh, but baby, that thing's about to shift. But I'm telling you, you don't know whose blessing is connected to your obedience. You don't know whose life is connected to your obedience. Sabrina. Y'all, I have my contacts in. I can't have C. Hey, Sabrina. You don't know who's alive. It, it shifted our red cube. Listen. Shift the work. You better preach. Listen, you don't know whose life is connected. You don't know who, what lost soul is out there waiting on Carlos. Who's on here? 
you know who's waiting on cops to say yes and obey like, you don't know who's waiting on you Letitia I'm just saying the names I see Tiara Candace Erica Revival Fire Talisha Tarch Nakia Tam Shabana Artisha Prophets Murders and I can't see who else is on but you who is waiting for you to obey God? Y'all better o obey God. Like, it's not a game, y'all. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, the Lord, mm, I be trying not to tell all my business over social media because you never know who's on here. Do it even if you have to do it scared. That's what you have to do this year. Even if you have to do it scared. Who knows what will happen if we don't obey? So just because it seems simple, obey God. Like, oh, that's all she's saying. Okay. This may be a last warning for some of you. You need to obey God. And I'm tired. I need to take a nap. Yeah. So I might get back on here. Amen. Revival fire. Oh, please don't be lazy. Don't be slothful. The Bible talks about that. And don't be fearful. The Lord took me to a scripture like two weeks ago. You know how we say, oh, the liar gonna, the going to have their part in the lake. And the whore, the whoremonger. Oh, okay. The Bible also says the fearful is going to have their part in the lake. So you scared or not? Nah, Y'all better let that go. Amen, prophetess murders. Oh, it's a lot. Let me tell you. If y'all take that word, if y'all don't hear another prophetic word for 2019, I just gave you all you need from, what month is this? From February to December. I just gave you everything you need to make it through. Obey God. Some of y'all want all these deep. <laughs> Obey God. If you don't hear another word for 2019, it is. It is cute, and it's a manifestation of pride. It is. So I'm tired. I'm going to get off here. It's not easy. It's not easy, but it's worth it. You have to do it. God never promised us it was going to be easy. He promised that he was going to be with us throughout, you know, the whole way. But I reckon that the sufferings of this present time... It's not worthy to be compared with the glory that's going to be revealed. And I'm trying to tell you, I'm had everybody connected to me. We're, we're winning. I'm trying to tell you. So, yeah, you can look at my bio, Mantle for Manifestation. You can buy my book off Amazon. And, yes, a seed, even if you, you, you bought the book, I considered that a seed. And I prayed the acceleration. It's going to be over your harvest. So check out the link in my bio for that book. Thank you so much, Prophetess Murders. To God be the glory. Listen, everybody attached to me. I'm so excited. Like, I want for y'all to come back. Like, I'm waiting for you all to come back and touch more testimonies. I've already gotten a few. I'm waiting for you all to come back with more testimonies tomorrow. Listen more testimonies rapid release acceleration go back and listen to the first video I did it started messing up um, my PayPal Candace if I say it they probably won't they probably won't type it right it's paypal.me forward slash Renisha and then it's another A on the end but I mean I can't type it in and people always spell my name wrong. But everything attached to me. When I tell you I'm excited for you all. Yeah, thanks, Erica. Thanks, um, Candace. Todd, you weren't on here when we pray. So we lift up Todd. Let's come in agreement for Todd, you all. Lord, we lift up Todd before you right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you. So many people need housing. I need housing too, you all. Um, you know what's funny though? People, within the last, ooh, 
three to six months, people have been asking me to pray about certain stuff. And, oh, thank you, Candice. People have been asking me to pray about certain stuff. And it's like the things, they don't know what I need, but they end up getting what I'm, I need. And it's like so funny to me. But I know he's saving the best for last. So, so Lord, we just agree in the spirit for a place a new place for Taj and her family, God. We thank you that you release the angels of acquisition even now to search out the land, search out the property. You know what her heart's desire is. We thank you that she's going to have a testimony not many days hence. Help her to step out in faith. Faith over fear. We thank you that the spirit of acceleration, the winds of acceleration, are going to hit her life even now in the name of Jesus. Rabba soko yele beshe, Raman soko yele besi ya Rabba so ya Rabba she. Wo Raman soko yele beshe ya Rabba so ya. We thank you that you're gonna make it plain for her, God. We even thank you for divine wisdom, divine wisdom and divine strategy being released to her. Even now it is so and shall not be otherwise. Thank you, Q. God, we come into agreement with Sabrina regarding her car and home. Baby, I was praying this morning and I saw, I tell you, I saw the Lord put keys in my hand to a car. Lord, I'm asking you to do it for Sabrina. Let the spirit of acceleration. And rapid release be upon her even now in the name of Jesus. We thank you that she has favor with God and with man. Candice, thank you. I receive it. Ooh, I receive. Who said that? Ben, ben, Bradley, I'm so bad with names. I receive that. Already have my new address. You shall as well. Oh, I fully receive that. Not many days hence. It is so. It is so. Mm. Listen, that's what I said to Erica. I'm telling you, I saw the the keyless entry. Um. <laughs> I just believe God. I just believe God. So yeah, I'm gonna get off here. I might get back on later. I don't know. We'll see. Thanks, Q. I need to um I really wanna pray. And you all please keep me covered in prayer. Ooh, Carlos. We're gonna come into agreement with Carlos. Carlos, I have an interview Wednesday, a phone interview, but an interview Wednesday. The guy emailed me early this morning. Um, Lord, we come into agreement with Carlos even now in the name of Jesus. We ask you to, have, to give him favor with this interview. We decree and declare that this is his in the name of Jesus. This job is his. God, if it's not, then we know you have something bigger and better. We come, into a, we come into agreement even now that he's going to have options. As a matter of fact, we thank you for giving him options. Even if you do come with something bigger and better, still let them offer this to him and let him have to pick and choose what he wants. We thank you for options. Ooh. Lord, I received that for myself. Carlos, can I hijack your word? I received that for myself. Options. I received that. <laughs> Lord, we thank you for giving him options. It is so and shall not be otherwise. Mm, 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 mm. God bless you now, faith. Now, faith. Jesus. Now, faith. Favor, amen. Favor with God and man for Carlos. I did a post today. What was I talking about? Um, on Facebook about how we don't have to beg God for anything. If we're an heir of Christ, a son, a daughter, we don't have to beg. 
and think about royalty when 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 you're royalty you're a king a prince or whatever other people know who you are so you don't just get an inheritance from your family but wherever you go people are trying to give you stuff even though you can afford it i hope y'all caught that those that are friends with me on facebook you all can find me on facebook just look for my type in my name but people you can you'll be able to afford it but people still they're going to want to give it to you we just thank god for favor being released on us not just with god but with man also like i don't even know why i'm doing this for you but here the lord told me to do this and i don't even know why i don't it, there's just something about you i just see a glow on you that's about to be your testimony options listen Amen, it is so. Carlos, you have to let us know. Listen, T, I will hijack a prophecy in a minute. <laughs> Thank you, Prophetess Murtis. Thank you, Prophetess. You caught it, Erica. Listen. And the thing is, I know. Well, I'll leave that alone. But I receive it, it is so. And shall not be otherwise. Hello, Harold. Oh wow. Suddenly. We thank we thank God for the spirit of suddenly. Oh, it's happened. I receive it in his forever blessed one. Renisha's gonna be blessed with the home, the job. Y'all gonna make me get up and dance. Don't because I will get up and I will dance right on this camera. Y'all better leave me alone. Y'all better get up off of me. I receive that. God is amazing. Quick. And you all know what I saw again this morning. Remember I made a post on Facebook about the balloon. How I saw a balloon floating and it was um prophecies that have been hanging over our head. The Lord popped the balloon, but prophecies that have been hanging over our head. They're about to be released. I saw another balloon being popped this morning. So what's happening? Tierra. The last the first time I stayed at this hotel, that's what I meant to tell you, girl. I was on the 17th floor. I just realized that the day T. It is so and shall not be otherwise. I receive it. I receive it, Tisha. Favor all over me. Suddenly is my portion. Y'all better leave me alone. Let me get off here. Let me get off here before I lose it. Suddenly. And I'm telling you, God has been showing his hand, especially this past week. That's why I'm saying I'm con everybody connected to me. I'm so excited. Y'all better know that I'm not just talking. I know how he's been moving for me. Listen, let me, let me walk in my favor. Here I go, Erica, walk in your favor. Don't play, girl. Oh, amen. Walk in your favor. Listen. And I had a dream at some time last year. Ooh. Prophet is murdered. Okay. Okay. I had a dream last year that when I moved to where the Lord told me to go, um, favor was bumping into me. It was in the form of a person, one of my friends. He's really good at dream interpretation and he interpreted. I was like, this person, this Asian lady kept bumping into me. Da, da, da. He was like, Renisha, that was favor. receive it listen Tisha the wind of favor Whew. I receive it I believe God like for real for real I believe him I trust him yeah I receive it thank you all so much y'all blessing me because I really don't pray for myself like I should and I need to be beat I'm doing better though. I am doing better, but I don't pray for myself like I should. I don't pray for myself like I should. I receive it, the breath, T. 
see I received that from it's a it's a lot of interceding I need to do too. Um like tonight and tomorrow. I'm believing God that I'm gonna be back to work quick. So why I still have some time off? I need to be bombarding heaven. Yeah, what's your name? I need to be bombarding heaven while I, you know, have this extra time. So double. I mean that's the word of the Lord, Tierra. It's double. Is there anything specific you want us to pray about now, Faith? Shanika? Is there anything specific? And I also pray over this, what I pray over tonight, when I pray like tonight and tomorrow, I'll keep this little piece of paper. Somebody else told me. <laughs> What's funny is maybe a month ago, somebody I haven't talked to in a while, one of my friends, I haven't talked to in a long time, came, she called me, prophesied to me so bad, but she said that um she was like ministry is about to consume your life, but you're still going to be able to enjoy life and all of that. But she was like, ministry is about to consume your life. You might as well get ready. Did I receive it? Okay, so Lord, we lift up. Let's agree for Shanika, you all. Lord, we lift up. I'm writing this down so I can pray over it later too. Employment. Lord, we lift up Shanika. Even now, in the name of Jesus, I speak rapid release and acceleration over her as well. God, we thank you for Uraba Sotoya Lebeshe Raman Soya. We thank you for immediate breakthrough, God. We even thank you for touching the family. I don't know what, I just heard family. God, we thank you for breakthrough in her family. Brekete Yalaba Soya Raman Soya Raman Soya. God, go through the family line, go down the family line and heal, bring healing to the family. We thank you that she's gonna have a rapid release as it relates to employment and finances, God. We thank you for supernatural debt cancellation. We thank you for supernatural provision. We thank you that she's going to see the hand of Jehovah Jireh, Rabba So, Rebe Seke Alaman So, Ya Rabba So, Ya Rabba She. God, we decree and declare that even on this week, she's going to see you as Jireh. Wo Raman So, Ya Rabba So, Ya God, all you have to do is blow in her direction and her entire life can shift just that quick. So I ask you to just blow on her even now, blow on her finances, blow on her employment, oh God, blow on her family. We come into agreement with her even now, oh God. We come against the spirit of delay. We come against spirits of sabotage that would try to hinder the blessing. We thank you that the angels over her, they <clears throat> prevail over the princes and palaces, princes, principalities and powers that are trying to work against her, oh God. And I just decree and declare that the heavens are open over her life. I decree and declare that the heavens are open on her behalf. And I agree with what heaven says about her in Jesus' name. <laughs> All right, you all, I'm getting off here. You all have a blessed night. Yes, Lord, may the assignment of the enemy be destroyed by fire. In Jesus' name, we bind backlash. I cover everybody on this broadcast. We come against the spirit of backlash and retaliation. God, the blood of Jesus is a, bar a barricade. So we know that you've got us. We don't have anything to worry about. We don't have anything to fear. You are the highest power. Even the demons know that there's one God and they fear and tremble. So we thank you that we are covered. Love you all too. Love you too, Tierra. Love y'all. Go listen to the other one, the replay, all of that. Because it, it uh, went out the first time where it started freezing. Um... If anybody, now I'm not telling you to sow a seed. They asked me for my PayPal, but if you sow a seed, 
and you have a specific request add a note to it attach a note to it i pray over all seeds anyway and let me tell you something first of all i don't get on here asking for seed now let's be very clear i'm not i'm not that one because a lot of y'all being pimped out all the time a lot of y'all being pimped out for um tax time i don't do that okay all right people sowing to me without me asking not trying to brag but i talk to god and he talks to people but um yeah if you decide to sow then attach a note but let me tell you this don't think that oh to god be the glory don't think that any seed is too small someone sold a five dollar seed into me one time no lie they were unemployed, sold a $5 seed. I, I laid the seed in my prayer room. And I told the Lord I was not going to touch it until... I got a date from. You got a date? Come on. Um, what you mean, Kira? Somebody sold a $5 seed. I took the seed, you all, laid it in my prayer room. And... Um, oh, thank you, his forever blessed one. Lady in my prayer room, I said, God, I'm not going to touch this seed until this person gets a job. This person got not one but two job offers over a $5 seed. I don't play over people's money. The lady that just got the, that sold into me Wednesday and got the car Saturday, a $25 seed. And with her, she, this lady, I put it on Facebook was friends with me two weeks you all two weeks girl you still haven't gotten your taxes back wow tiara oh amen prophetess myrtle but the lady y'all we were friends i can't make this stuff up on friend, friends on facebook for two weeks the lady said inbox me and she was like i cannot she was like, I can't sow into you like I want to now. She said, I'm going to sow a seed now. I can't make this up. She said, I'm going to sow a seed on this date. She gave me the next, the second date and the third date. She was like, your post just blessed me so much. If you handle God's business, he'll handle yours. That's all I know. $25 seed, whole car. So, yeah, I don't play with people's money. And if you think I do, just keep your money because I just, I don't have time. I don't have time. Tierra, what date did they? But T, when are they? That's crazy. Y'all, let's pray for Tierra that, Lord, let them release Tierra's money. Oh, okay. That's crazy. That Y'all, she's not talking about her current taxes. She's talking about last year. <laughs> This spirit of delay is really trying to hold up people's finances, though. Seriously. Seriously. Suddenly, it is so. So we just break any spirit of delay off Tierra's life. And Tierra is a sower. Like, Tierra sows when she don't need to sometimes. listen we pray over i'm so bad with names we break the spirit of delay off of miss bradley's life in the name of jesus are you the one I, are you the one that sold into me we break the spirit of delay off of her you know i just realized that i didn't even know I didn't even know that was you. Please tell these people I'm not lying. Y'all, let's come into agreement with her. We come against the spirit of delay. We thank you that back pay is going to be released to her. Everything she owed, she's owed, Lord. And I know the military cuts. They will cut you a back pay check. Now, I don't know what excuse they're giving you, but I'm telling you, I've received, and that's a whole nother story. I've received like a back pay check from my dad from like years of back pay. Like, Lord, go in the computer system, 
if you have to bend the rules for her, if you have to break the rules for her, whatever you have to do, we decree and declare that every every penny that she's owed is going to re be released to her. Every penny, every penny that she's owed is going to be released. I don't care what the military says. Every penny that she's owed is going to be released in Jesus' name. Somebody else had me to pray regarding disability, back pay. It wasn't military. Um, it had been going on for a while, but they got theirs approved and they did the back pay thing. So we just believe God. To God be the glory, Tierra. Erica, I didn't even realize that. I told you I can't have C. I can't have C and I'm horrible with names. I have my old contacts in, but I have my glasses somewhere. Every penny, it is so. Every penny. And I just pray that Carlos just obeys God and whatever he's calling him to do, that he steps out on faith. Amen, prophetess Maria. Stop saying what, Candace? What did I say? Well, I can't have C. Okay, I can see. I'm sorry, I can see. It's just my contacts are old and I need to. I can see and I'm good with names. My memory is wonderful. <laughs> I forgot I'm prophetic. The, the heavens are open. Lord, I was just playing. Holy Spirit, don't take me seriously. I snatched it out of the atmosphere. I snatched it out of the atmosphere. Sorry, y'all. I know. I know I can't play. Because, see, I'd be playing around and say stuff and then it happens. Holy Spirit, I was just joking. I repent. I'm sleepy, y'all. Honey, when I tell you I would try to stretch your contact out. <laughs> And I have my um my glasses, but when I was braiding my hair, I needed to put my contacts in. I need to finish my hair, and I don't feel like it, but I gotta finish it. You can't tell it's not finishing. I am. I need to call you back, Candy. But I really, I've been like I've really felt pressed lately to sleep as much as I can during the day, so I can stay up and pray at night. I haven't been able to accomplish that yet, but I've really been feeling pressed to do that for some weeks now. Tisha, I need to do hair on the side and make some coins, girl. I need to, but I don't have the patience. I don't... Mm. Thanks. Thanks, T. I don't have the patience. I did my cousin's hair, my little cousin's hair in braids. About a month ago, when I was mad when I finished, I was like, mm -mm, I can't do this. Let me just open a beauty salon. Don't have me working in there. I don't have time. I know. Multiple streams of income. This is the year. We all need to set a goal to, like, have at least two or three streams of income before 2019 is out. Okay. Yes, ma'am, prophetess. Yes, ma'am. Time to rest. Let me go. So I'll talk to you all later. Thank you for the hearts, you all. God bless you all. And prepare to testify. Like, I'm ready to hear your testimonies. Night, night, Q. I'm ready to hear your testimonies. Like, for real. Good night, um, Artisha. I'm ready to hear your testimonies. Bye, y'all. If it's one went through, I'm good. Listen. Good night, Prophetess Murders.